Hey guys, that's Ninja here, and I want to talk about tanks in Battlefield 1. Here we see the newest assault, the newest tank, I think it is the assault, uh, the St. Chamond. And I want to talk about tank drivers in general and multiplayer. Plane spotted. And how they, uh, they aren't doing what they need to do. If I'm a tank driver, I push the objective. I get kills, I get killed. This has one, two, three, four, five, five seats, okay. This filled up. Five people after team, obviously. Gotta use physics. Okay, I understand that. What people don't understand is you're not supposed to be sitting back on that objective doing nothing. You're supposed to... You're supposed to push the objective. You're supposed to help your team out. You know... I, like, I would honestly... I've seen these be... I've seen these, uh... The KFT scout vehicles be more useful than a tank. That's absolutely sad. And it's honestly, like, the most... The saddest thing I've seen in Battlefield. And really, a game that's based around OP vehicles. Like, look at this right here. I just called in an airstrike around me. You know how effective that is? Like, you, you guys have no idea how effective a tank could actually be if you would take the time to actually like drive it right and you know be a tank you you're a tank you're whether you're using a land ship which holds up to three to um, I think five one two three four five. yeah five three to five people two four five six six people at max for the heavy tank one person for the light tank. The artillery truck. I think the artillery truck would be more useful. Oh, didn't I assume asking for it? Than any other tank. And like push the objective if you're in the tank. And for the planes It's just oh, it's actually a nice skin. Uh, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Um if you're a plane, be the plane. Don't be selfish. Like, it, if you're the bomber, you know, whether you're a Firestorm bomber, the Barrage bomber just blowing stuff up, so you, use your spotting camera. And if you look at where it says Barrage bomber, look below that, it'll tell you what it has. Four, 50 kilogram high explosive bombs, and I didn't see how many, I think it said two, 250 kilogram demolition bombs. The LMG on the front, and sorry, the LMG is on the back, and the HE high explosive auto cannon. You know, the only thing that really changes is the um, gadget with each plane. You have the wing emergency repair for the Firestorm and Torpedo, and then you have the spotting camera. I see a lot of people using the barrage bomber and they don't spot. And like with the uh, attack plane, you know, you've got the spotting flares. Use them. They are so helpful for your team. The speed boost, which on the airship buster, which is amazingly useful. You have no idea how many airships I have taken down with a friend. And the tank hunter, I can't use. Oh, I haven't really messed with it either. But it's it's difficult for me, but it is still useful. Whether you're destroying buildings on for snipers or just let alone anything. Oh, nice. Hmm. We're on all some kind of stuff. And with the what is this the um 
That's it. Uh, I can't even think right now. This plane, you got the bomber, attack plane. Oh, fight! I'm stupid. Um, you know the trench. Use your spotting flares. They are amazingly useful. It's, it's where if you, mit you you lay down the flares, you turn the plane back around, you line it up, and you just drop that trench bomb on them. You'll get three. I've gotten triple kills, quad kills. I've gotten five plus kills from one little raid with the fighter plane. The dogfighter. Um, it's actually useful against taking down planes, although um, I'm a decent pilot, although I do get taken down every now and then. Bomber killer, why haven't I unlocked that? This I haven't actually used, so I don't know how effective, effective it is, but if you use, everything is made for a reason. Use it for its potential, and if you use that potential, and you can do almost anything. And you can customize what your character has when you jump out of the tank or plane. You can you can't customize cavalry, sadly. Um, but like here, let me give you an example. Flying around in the plane, okay. Say that's the this is my objective right here. You know, lay down the tail. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm the only one on the server. That's great, too. I've laid down my uh, flares. Coming back in, I'll lay down some spray just to get some pop shots. Then I'll. Boom. You know how people that could have been right there? Okay, I get the trailer trailer kits available. I really want it, actually. So let me just pull the plane back in. I'm gonna try and land it actually, just because I can. Boom. Nope, not boom. Not boom, not boom. Return to the combat area. Come on, make it. I don't know how far. Okay. Holy crap. This thing's amazing. And like, say you jumped out of your plane like I did. You've got your pilot PO8, which is just the regular PO8 or the Red Baron PO8. I'm not sure if it can change. But then you have your primary. How many bullets does this hold? I think it said nine. Yep, nine. And you know, like that could be two, three people maybe. If you're lucky. But like, just... If you're not doing anything to help the team, or win the game, you're not doing anything at all. And... There's really no point in that. I wonder if I can go over there. So just take some time and, you know... Like, I'll see people in tanks over there. Uh, shooting all the way over there, or they'll be on that ridge, shooting over there also. And it's just people with the AT rocket guns, you know, they, they can just pick off the tanks if they group up. And they've done nothing for the tank, the tank's done nothing for their team, except just get him kills. Because people were stupid, started hopping over that wall, and he's just sitting right there, and boom, they're all gone. So, the point I'm trying to make is, if you're running, if you're running tank hunter, cla not tank hunter class, if you're running tanker, or pilot, help the team. Be a team player, and don't get the tank stuck. Uh, I, I know that all too well. You can get tank stuck very easily trying to go through here. <laughs> and, you know, like, 
I'll see tanks lined all the way up along there. I'll see tanks hidden back here. You know, I could just, I could be prone right here. Boom. That tank's down. Boom. That tank's down. And you know, there, there's no point. There's no point in this. B team player, play the objective. Whether you're in a vehicle or not, don't be scared that you're gonna die, because it's Battlefield. Unless you sit in the back as a sniper with the frickin' distance of a Barrett 50 cal. Uh, I actually don't know how long I'm gonna shoot. Um, my point is, unless you can shoot through the whole map without dying, you're gonna die, one way or another. Whether it be from a, f a spotting flare to a frickin' Grenade. Oh, I, I can't need that grenade. Don't die. No. <clears throat> oh, that's my trade Oh, sweet. Your location. Oh, I, I see. I didn't even know I could go here. I, I knew I could be right here, but I didn't know I could run up there. That works too. But yeah, as I've said, you know, just learn to play the class you're playing. You know, I've rarely used the artillery truck. And you know, it can actually be really effective. You know, you're on the move. And you switch, boom, boom. You basically got a tank cannon with an LMG in the front. And in case you guys didn't know, it, in any vehicle, I found except planes. Um, if you press L3 or whatever sprint button is for you, if you're on a different uh, console or anything, you can um, make the vehicle go faster. And some melee weapons will actually do damage to vehicles, or you can, you know, anti vehicle grenades. Boom. And if you're playing as a support, or you are said class, and your vehicle is blown up, or highly damaged, you can repair it with the repair tool. I press left on the uh, directional pad, or D-pad as I say, or some of you must be probably known as the arrow keys. Which, they are not arrow keys, okay, I'm just saying that now. <clears throat> oh, okay, I got it. See, and... Smoke. Smokes are very effective. I don't see enough people using them. And the, the grenade spam is... It's a little ridiculous, honestly. Whether it be gas, incendiary, or... I don't know, just like the light anti-tank grenades, the frags, the impacts, which were a huge problem in Battlefield 4. Um, I like to see like a flashbang. Or something like, give us flares to throw, not just smoke and gas and annoying stuff. Like, I would love it to have, like, instead of just a spotting flare, we could actually throw out, like, a flashbang or something. Or, cause, like, look. Watch how ineffective the smoke is. See, right there, if someone were to be running through, I could probably pick them off. But say you are in the smoke, you can see, like, this visibility sucks. And I'm not sure if it downgrades your um, accuracy on me. This is a really good call. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, you know, just my point is, play your class, like I've said, twice, probably three, four times now. And just, you know, play as a team, play at, work with your squad, work with 
you, anyone you can just try and be a team player don't be a solo rogue tanker if you are use the light tank but push the objective no one ha uses no one pushes the objective like they should and it's kind of sad because i remember battlefield 4 3 the tanks were terrifying to me and the fact that hey that's a tank i'm probably gonna die here in three seconds but in battlefield you've got in battlefield 1 you've got other tanks fighting against you there is no c4 that you can just drop on them and then run away you have to place it or you place the um, anti-tank mines or you strategically place your dynamite or run up to the tank for, on a suicide mission and you blow it up or you use the AT rocket gun shoot it from a distance or the light anti-tank grenade if it's uh, uh, close enough but if it's close enough, you're you're probably done unless it's low. And uh, melee weapons. If you look at the melee weapons, it'll s it, where it says damage, speed, kill zone, break wire, break wood, damage light vehicle. They they have their different stats. In, but if you look at the break wire, wood, and damage light vehicle. If they are high, if they are filled in with white, like the spiked mace, it can damage wood, and it can break wood apart, and it can damage light vehicles. You see a vehicle, you have no grenades or anything to damage them with, or deter it off with. You just pull out that club, start running at it, and start smacking it. You'll probably die, but your team will catch on, hopefully. And then one last tip. Spotting. Spotting is key. No one has done it. It is very rare in this game that I have seen that people spot. And I'm not sure if it's lack of knowledge on how to spot or knowledge like just n n <clears throat> if it's just lack of knowing how to do it or just plain stupidity. But like you saw me do earlier in the beginning of the video, I pressed R1 to spot, and if you don't know, you can press start, or options, or whatever you want. Go to options, controls, and control scheme, boom, spot slash common rows, and, and if you spot an enemy, it'll show up on your mini-map. And if they're out of cover, a little icon will appear above their head saying what class they are. And now explain the common rows. This is saying, I can't do that for you. I can. Thanks for giving me ammo or riding or anything. Play the objective. We're going. Go to uh, squad orders. It'll give you a list of objectives and requests. Follow me. I need backup. Need ammo. Need a vehicle need that healed so say so, to uh, one person just jumped in and this vehicle the KFT scout I believe yep and he starts driving away I could say Can request ride, ride and if he has the little uh, box in the top left corner and on he could stop you know or I could shoot at him he'd come back pick me up and we're on our way to the objective together So if I've tried, if I've taught you anything here from my rambling for God knows how long, it's one. Play the objective. If you're, if you're the tanker, pilot, cavalry, or if you're in one of these even, just play the objective hard, like hardcore. Play the objective. Don't be sitting here. You know, oh, I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose a tank. I need to level it up. But boo hoo, you're not gonna get the kills if you don't play the objective. Number two, play the objective. Duh. Self-explanatory there. Three, team teamwork is key. Spot 
as, as much as you can and just you know have fun for don't be stupid and don't you know don't do anything that say level cap or jack frags when professionally do and I say professionally as in they're not just screwing around they're actually working as a team getting stuff done and it's just you know they they've taken out tanks almost instantly you know see that tree right there I'm gonna hit it with the rocket gun boom god dang it boom boom hit the tree AT grenades. I'm gonna lob this over the bridge. Okay, that was close. Okay, I lobbed it all the way past the bridge. Not, I, shut up, okay. <laughs> My point is, you can throw grenades farther than you think. Holy crap. See, right there. I just lobbed an incendiary. Anti-tank grenade, it's a lot heavier, so it'll pr probably go past, but it won't go over. Walls, you can, most of you know this, but if you, if you can't, you know, just hop over a wall, you can climb it. But I can't climb something like right here, but I could hop over that. Yeah, you know, just... Simple frag grenade. Smoke grenade. Do I have any other grenades? I don't think I do. Oh, gas mask. Nope. Okay. And here's another thing. Going underwater. That could save your life. It's not as useful as in Battlefield 1 as it is was in 4, say, or 3. But it can still be useful. So I'm going to end that here. And hopefully you have learned something. And you know. Don't be afraid to try stuff. But just don't be sitting back. Doing nothing. Not helping the team. Because if you're in a tank that has 6 spots. And you're just sitting back. Doing nothing. Your team's going to hate you. And they're probably going to make sure. That you don't get the tank again. And another and one last thing don't spam for a tank or a pilot because that's no fun for anyone because say i've tried to get a plane for an airship and people will just grab bombers that's not going to do anything against the airship it does very little to nothing against it like it's about as effective as me throwing a smoke grenade in the water Yeah, anyone all the way across there, all the way across there. That's about effective as a bomber is against an airship. So I'll leave you guys there. I'll quit rambling on for once. And I will see you in the next Battlefield Tips video.